Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. The sexual side of the game can't be avoided. And uh, this is right, because I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what. And now, yeah, I know, you know, on YouTube, you know, you put sex in the title or something and, you know, YouTube got an issue with it and stuff. Okay, fine, fine. Just take limited advertising if you're getting monetized. But it has to be discussed because I'm noticing one thing. Now, you you know, I'm noticing one thing in these spaces. A lot of guys talk about all this outer stuff, what's happening outside the bedroom. But really, stuff come down to what's going to happen inside the bedroom. Because seriously, seriously, because look, let me be real on something. Let me tell you how some women do it, too. You know, everybody worried about meeting a woman or even be taking pictures with a woman and stuff. Look, let me let me explain it to you, what really happens, right? So you get that woman that, you know, you might get a guy, right? You get a woman, she's very attractive too. He might take some pictures and stuff. He might be like, these are my receipts, right? And you know, just say, yeah, I'm with this beautiful woman. You know what, he take her out on the town. I mean, he take her to Ruth Chris or some other expensive place. Ruth Chris need to give me some money for calling their name out. You know, someplace, he spend all that money. You know what, he might, he, he might rent out a nice car. You know, they looking all good and everything, right? They looking all good. And it's like, shoot, they might even hold hands in public. And then they'll get a... Uh, you know, he'll take her home or something, and she'll like, she'll give him a kiss and pat him on the back. That was a great time. But she'll give him like one of those church hugs or something. You know, got got her butt out, you know, pelvis ain't touching. And not even a good church hug. She'll give him a side hug so her breasts and don't rub against his chest or something. Totally platonic. And, you know, he might be happy because, you know, he might look good to people because he got those pictures and everything, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, do spit. Right, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, he spent about several hundred dollars, a thousand dollars on her, right? You know, if it was a really good day, he'd get a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> and he think he's a man. Some people will see that and think he's a man, right? But you know what? She'll take off all those clothes, right? She'll take off all those clothes and, you know, that fancy gown and everything. She'll put on a t shirt and some sweats, put a hat over her head. She'll get in her car. She'll get in her car. She'll drive to the bad side of town. You know, go up in that next questionable neighborhood or something. But dude knew she was coming. Get up in that apartment. She go in there. You know, dude didn't have money like the other guy. Dude didn't have money like the other guy. He, shoot, this dude got an air mattress. Not even a good air mattress, cheap air mattress. He got to get a new one every couple of weeks and stuff, right? Yeah, honestly, she trying not to look in the kitchen and everything or look on the floor. She don't know what she else he's scurrying about. But she don't care about all that. She'll be in there. She'll, she'll go to, she'll go in there and her clothes will come right off. Dude will be trying to chill or something. She'll just come in there and just start stripping and stuff. And then he take her to take her to that air mattress and he'll do her well. Sometimes they don't make it that far. <laughs> but he be on the living room floor, you know, praying a roach don't crawl, crawl over him or something. Look, here's the thing. It ain't so much she was cheating, but it's so much the sexual side of the game. You not, they not seen. Like, that woman will never be seen in a picture with that guy. And this ain't against, like, that old dubious concept of receipts or anything. It's just the reality. That's the, the reality is who the woman going to have sex with. Not who she going to be seen with. Not whether she going to go out with you, whether or not you approach her in public. Because a lot of the sexual relationships don't have nothing to do with approaching a woman on the streets anyway. Let me say that again. Most, most of them don't. Usually it's because a woman is in proximity to a man. She might go to the same gym he do. She probably work at the same place. He, he works someplace. He, he could be a bagger someplace and she see him there. Right? And now, yeah, I know. I said something about uh, class and everything. But well, who say that woman ain't in the same class? <laughs> you know, who says she ain't in the same class. But whatever the case, it's the guy she actually has sex with. Cause, and that was something I started out nice guys and players with. Because I talked about, I started the book out talking about a man who's doing all the good stuff. He a good guy. 
but then the woman dealing with somebody else totally different. In fact, I got to update the part when I wrote in there. I said, beeper. Now I just say, yeah, just text them. <laughs> but that can't be avoided. And see, I'm saying that because that's the thing a man has to work on. He got to work on his sexual energy. You know what I find? I, I found a lot of dudes don't want to talk about it because I'll listen for that. It's about turning that woman on sexually. That's what I talked about yesterday. Seriously, that's what I talked about yesterday because it's a major thing. And you don't always see it. In fact, I've told people, people know that I've used the term Mr. Goodbar, talk about that man getting constant sex. You might never see that man with a woman. I mean, because I've known dudes who are on that level and they stroking all the women on the job. So, you know, they got to be quiet. They got to be low key. You know, shout out Cousin Tito. He talked about male thought professions. One of them was a delivery guy. You know, it might be that guy who's uh, hitting different offices and stuff. They checking him out and everything. Shoot, he could be a personal trainer. <laughs> he could, oh, especially a massage therapist. I've known some male massage therapists. They say, shoot, after they finish the woman's ready, she wants that happy ending. <laughs> she wants the happy ending and everything. So, but, you know, she ain't going to go public and say, oh, yeah, you know, I'm hanging out with this guy. I'm going out with this guy. Because I'm going to tell you something, a big thing with women sexually, especially when they want to dip into the shadow world, they want plausible deniability. They don't want pictures. They don't want pictures. They ain't going to acknowledge you in public. Because many a dude who's been in that case, he's been that dude coming through the back door or something, he'll tell you, the women, women will straight up tell the guy, say, you see me in public acting like you don't know me. You know? Act like you don't know me. Like, shoot, sometimes you see a woman, you just got to keep walking. Because who a woman had, who a woman will deal with publicly and who she has sex with privately are two different things. And that's the understanding. And I'm going to tell you what, I can listen to a dude and tell where he going and everything. I can, I can listen to him because there's certain things and I hear a lot of people coming, but I'm just sitting back listening to him and stuff, you know? And indeed... A lot of dudes need to watch it. If they really trying to, like, dip down, like, I get people always hitting me up talking about, hey, can I, how can I get in the shadow world? How can I get in the shadow world? Well, check it out. Check it out. Other than having a good body build and uh, giving off a sexual vibe, the woman checking to see if you quiet. Because if you that type of guy, you come off that type, yeah, you telling everything, you texting everybody, yeah, I hooked up with this woman. And the woman, she'll sit back, right? Like, she might be talking with you. She'll sit back and be like, oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> she ain't giving you nothing. She, and they'll say, he's too he's too loud. He's bragging too much. You know? And they, because they want to know. Women are funny like that. Women are funny. Like, the only time they really want to be seen with you, especially a guy they're having sex with, is if they're in a real relationship with them. That's the only time. But when it's just a sexual thing, psh, please. Dude better know how to zip his mouth and keep going. Shoot. Shoot. Because that's why I'm telling you. That's why some of, these, some of the quiet dudes, they be nice and quiet until they get to know you. Then he's like, yeah, this one, this one. Like, I remember this one social area I was in one time. There was a guy tearing up women, but he, it was the women telling me. They were was, they was saying something. The women were passing the stories around. I've had several conversations with the dude. He didn't once say he was dealing with anybody. Not once. If you had a conversation with him, you wouldn't even know it. But the women were going crazy. He would just he would just talk business, sports, whatever else. The closest he came is when he just looked at a woman and just kind of winked. <laughs> That's the closest he came, just kind of subtly say, yeah, I hit that. That was the closest. And even then, that you know, it could have been taken any type of way. But that's just the nature of it. But here's the thing. Here's the ultimate thing. It can't be avoided. You got to deal with that side. Because think about something. You meet a woman. What you meeting her for? Just to hang out with her in public? You know? Just to say, show to people or try to validate people. Yeah, I got this fine woman. I don't mean anything. Got a lot of women that do that. You got a lot of women out there. They'll hang out with some dude because he paying for dinner. Shoot, that's a game with women. Foodie calls. <laughs> Shoot. You got some dude going to pay for a debtor, put food to shoot. They saving money. Even if they professional women, they're like, well, shoot, I don't have to buy anything. I got all these dudes trying to take me out. Got dudes probably coming over there trying to uh, 
you know, paint her living room, all that stuff. Help her move. She don't have to pay for moving costs. Please. <laughs> Shoot. And she'll have all guys do all that. You know? But then send that text out about 1 a.m. in the morning. And then some dude, some dude who don't do shit for her, will come in there and do her well. So anyway, I want y'all to think about that, all right? And I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.